To all the simple humans out there, stay simple. Simplicity is key. Hello. I'm back. Hopefully it's on. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I'm kind of figuring out how I go about uh, creating and how I'm going about this process and trying to shrink it down, not trying to make these life movies. You like my setup? I think it's really pretty. Happy holidays to anyone who practices holidays. It's all the worship psalms. Uh, I took it upon myself on this beautiful morning to walk to the beach. Uh, I live in Florida. I walked to Pompano Beach. Uh, it took me about 18 miles. It took me about six to seven hours, uh, roughly. Usually, usually about. And uh, I wanted to be in a position where I could sit here in a nice little feng shui. Let me check it and show you. Look, look how pretty that is. It's pretty, right? Pretty amazing stuff. There. Put you back here. Alright. So, um, you know, I'm learning now as, as I walk these streets from Pompano, from my house here, uh, how the, the demographic of the area changed and it brought me back to my old childhood, walking around and seeing these things and watching the greatest, the greatest prophets in the world uh, walk the, you know, the most poorest of towns in order to see the common people. You know, you gotta love the common people as much as living everyone else. You know, and what I'm really learning in life is like being fake gives you all the love. And it's sad, and it shouldn't be like that. It's messed up how people get judged for being real, and how people get loved for being fake. This is, this is the, the promiscuity of our life, especially the ones that we operate and dictate on our own manners. This is not fair to us, and it's not fair to you. No meditation in the world, no fitness, no, no, no marijuana, no blunt can help your spirit grow in moments of conflict. It's those conflicts that make you grow, that make you give those experiences, that give you what you think you didn't need, you need to know. What you don't know is what you don't know that you don't know. Only eyes, real eyes, real eyes. When you're stuck doing the same old thing, leaving mad, angry, sad, and frustrated, when you're starting to ask yourself, just a beat, when you really ask it, do you think you're lonely? Like, nothing's happening here. And because nothing's happening here, people are starting to steal from one another. This, the heart. Oh, my video, so. <laughs> Stop destroying those that you love. Stop destroying those that share your space. Stop destroying all of it. You're pushing away. When there's no one else left to push, you'll be alone. By yourself. No one there to cry. Why would we want to cry? What's the point? Don't do the same mundane. It's insanity. It's when you finally realize, when you have the ability and opportunity to do it differently, you should. Stop doing things the same. Listen, you're in a relationship, things happen, shit happens, your job, things happen. A lot of things happen. You have kids, I'm a dad. Stop being your head on a wall, it's not working. Change your tactics, change your strategy. Read Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Read 48 Laws of Power. Read Eckhart Tolle's New Earth. There, 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 there are new concepts out here that are not new at all. The sun's coming up. So good. I'm gonna get a picture of that. There you go. Stop replacing your healing with people. Stop thinking that all situations that you go through can be just healed because you think you have the right opportunity to call the right person at an inconvenience of their time in order to help. Don't get me wrong, I think everyone should be out there. After what I've seen in the streets, we need help. These people need love, and they need guidance. But what they need more or less of anything else above all things is self-love. Self-love is the best medicine to fix a broken spirit. Self-love, self-love. When the dishes pile up, so do the resentments. In my next video, I wanna talk about something that's very deep to me. And I uh, was debating if I should, I, I mentioned it a couple times, but I have a, 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 an acronym, SAD, SAD LIFE. <laughs> you know, SAD LIFE is a stay at home that SAD. You have a SAD LIFE. And this is how society wants you to believe that you have a SAD LIFE because you're a stay at home father. 
you know, for all the stay-at-home moms out there, you know, I know how you do this. But uh, in my next video, I'm gonna be going into a couple of categories. Uh, I don't think stay-at-home dads have enough support and network, and I'm really tired of society giving their bad bitches. So. Uh, next videos I'll be doing a showcase about staying home dads, techniques we can do, and things that we can do together to help one another. I think more or less in our society, we need more dads to come out here, more fathers, not dads, more fathers to pronounce themselves and start putting themselves on the podium and start speaking for others. Because we're, we're missing out here, man. It's sad. You don't know how long I've, I've, I've cried half this journey walking here. It's really sad how much I sacrifice how much the people I love and people around me sacrifice for the common good. So, to all the simple people out there, stay simple. Simplicity is key. And until next time, I love you. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first.